morning uh, students today we will start with the duodecilar experiments the first experiment prescribed for you in the syllabus is the instrument used in the duodecil what are the instruments used in the survey that is the first experiment we should be doing we will start with the very conventional uh, instruments like chain and we will go up to total station so chain is something very conventional instrument total station is a high end instrument up till then we should be studying and you will be using all these instruments various instruments in various different experiments but first today we will understand what are the basic equipments involved in the survey those are chain pin arrows range rod plumb box cross tab prismatic compass dumpy level leveling stack and shorter in that the first one is the chain so this is a very important instrument chain is a very very important instrument very conventional instrument but still it is used even today in the field to the full extent now look at this chain this will be done in your class also in the theory part also it will be done but still now chains come in different different varieties chains are called engineers chain gunter chain etc but what you are using here is the engineers chain this will be in either 20 meters or 30 meters you will get it in 20 meter length or 30 meter length and chain we use for linear measurements or measuring the length now when you look at the chain this is how the chain is you should be knowing what is the material of this chain this chain is made up of galvanized bilayer steel now when we pull this chain this is chain will go for around 20 meter length now try to look at this here in the chain for every meter you have this brass rings we call this as brass rings for every meter you have this brass rings and then you have this link this we call as links this link is 5 meter if you see here 5 meter link is there then you have this 10 meter link now what is the purpose of this links is the next question when you pull the chain in the field you need not measure again 1 meter 2 meter using the tape you don't need another instrument to measure how many meters you want to measure it so this cross rings links will help you to locate 10 meter mark 5 meter mark and the each every meter mark so it comes in either 20 meter or 30 meter uh, length depending on the uh, necessity so this is about the chain this we use in almost all the experiments in the geodesy lab now the next very important and conventional instrument or the equipment is the tape this is that tape this steel tape is again uh, tape is made up of different varieties material this is the cloth tape or you can call it as fiber tape and there is one more tape this you must have all seen these are used in the construction industry this is the steel tape now these are the two types of tape this uh, tape goes up to 5 meter this steel tape goes up to 5 meter and if you see the graduations you have this graduations in the inches so for every 12 feet there is one inch uh, sorry Uh, 12 inches make one feet. You all know that. So this is very nicely graduated. Looking upon this, you can make out how many feet you can measure, or even meters are there. Meter also you can measure. Both are there. And this is that uh, one more cloth uh, tape. This cloth tape is something like this. This will also run for five meters to ten meters, depending on the manufacturing. it uh, runs you both side you have uh, one side you have it in meters the other side you have it in the feet whichever uh, sign convention you want you can use so that comes with the chain and tape these both are used for what linear measurements very important instruments for linear measurements now the next very important is this arrow this is called the arrow this is again uh, made up of steel very important uh, instrument now suppose you are in the field you are in some field you will take you will have a point a on the ground and you have a point b this a b is around 10 meters that you have measured using the chain you have well you are either used to chain or either used to tape and located this 10 meter now at this 10 meter you have to put this point at b you have to locate the 10 meter then you will put this arrow in plunge the arrow here and we will show it as the tentator that means arrows are used to locate the points on the ground so that is the use of this arrow after arrows come
comes the next instrument called ringing rod. Now, this is the next uh, very important accessory in uh, all the instrument you can call it in the uh, Jodasita. This is a uh, ringing rod. It is marked with white and black. It is marked with white and red depending on the manufacturer. And this comes in 2 to 3 meter length, either 2 meter or 3 meter. Now, what is the use of this ranging rod? This is used for ranging. Ranging means to find the accurate uh, location of the quartz. For that, we use ranging rods. This we will be doing exclusively, uh, this ranging rod will be using in maximum experiments. Without ranging, we cannot do it. And the same thing has been taught to you in theory class also how to range this. Now, you have a person, I, I am a person standing at the point A and uh, standing at point A with the ranging rod. There is another person at a uh, 10 meter distance, maybe he is standing with another ranging rod. So, if, by your eye vision, by your eye sight, you will exactly locate or you will range. You see your eye vision, you can ask the person I, with the ranging rod at the station B to either come to the left or to the right and range it so that both the ranging rod with your eye vision comes in the straight way. So that is the use of ranging rod and that is range. More on this we will study in your theory class. No need to worry now. So it's about the ranging rod. Next comes very important that is called as the plumb ball. Now this is the plumb ball. This is a heavy weight. I mean this is again made up of metal heavy weight with the thread. Now what we will do is we want to locate some point on the ground. Now you have to locate some point on the ground. Usually you have a dumpy level and uh, some uh, dumpy level instrument or theodolite like instrument. That point you have to locate it on the ground. For that we will use this plug uh, ball. This again I will show you in this lab how to use it particularly. Now the next instrument is called as the cross staff. Now, this is the cross tab. Students, this, are, this is a very important equipment. See, in the cross tab, there uh, is a plus mark. Usually, cross tabs we use for locating right angles. Or the, when you want to draw perpendicular lines in the field, we will use this cross tab. So, what we will do is we will stand with the cross tab like this. So that in this line, a person will stand with the ranging rod at around 5 meter distance. Let us take for example. And in this line, a person will stand with the ranging rod at around ranging rod at the station B. Let us say. And you will ask him to come either left or right. So that this view is exactly in the straight line. Once you fix that ranging rod at B, again you will uh, fix a ranging rod this side. A person standing here at around 5 meters. So you will go this side. And you what is the use of this cross tab? We use the cross tab to locate right angles or to measure the right angles, perpendicular lines in the field. We use this cross tab. Now, what I will do is, if this is my station A, I will erect the cross tab in the station A properly. Then I will ask the person at the station B, maybe around 5 meters from here, I will ask the person to stand with the ranging rod and through this. Uh, Slit in the cross tab, I will see him and I will ask the person standing with the ranging rod at station B to either come left or right so that he is in line with this uh, slit. Now, what I will do is this will anyway, anyways, this will be erected here. Then from here, I will ask the person to stand at around 5 meters with the ranging rod, maybe that is station C, and through this slit, I will see him ranging and I will ask him to come either to the left or the right. In that way, I will uh, draw this L-shaped line, L-shaped line or the right angles line. So this is very helpful in drawing the right angles, perpendicular, uh, especially when you want to plot rectangular plots on the field, then it is very useful. Now students, this are the very conventional equipments, uh, this chain, tape, arrow, ranging rod, plumb work, cross track, these are all called as the conventional uh, instruments or accessories for linear measurements. With this you can draw rectangles, pentagon, everything you can draw using this. Now, this are the first set of the equipments. Now, we will go to a little higher version in the survey. This was used once upon a time when we didn't have very good high-end equipments. At that time we used to use chain, tape and still we used to 
small with level 1. And as in the technology advanced, new new type of equipments started coming. So the first version of a new equipment which was developed, which was one step higher to all this conventional was the prismatic compass. Now this is that prismatic compass. Kindly look here. This is the prismatic compass. This will be taught to you in your theory class but still. Now what is the use of this prismatic compass? You want to draw angles. Now you all know there are uh, plot signs of rectangular plot signs are there. Pentagon shapes are there. And you have hexagonal shapes etc etc. Now so when you have, when you want to draw a rectangular sign in the field, what you will do with your cross track only, you can do this rectangular thing. Now the next thing is when you want to put a plot of pentagon, some, some shape like this, pentagon shape or hexagon shape. How will you draw that is the next question. You are a survey engineer, tomorrow you will be asked to build a building which is of pentagon shape or you are asked to build a building which is of hexagon shape. So how will you get that angles? Using cross track, we can get of course 90 degree, you can draw using your chain tape and all, you can draw 90 degree line and you can very nicely put a more the pentagon shape or the hexagon shape will there will be the problems will arise at that point. So what we have to do is the next question. For that, next the higher version of survey equipment came up and that was called as the prismatic compass. Now kindly look here, this prismatic compass is a circular compass and it is graduated from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. Now what we will do is, there is, this is your 